Hi. So Skylum reached out to me asking if I would be interested in taking a look at their uh, software which is uh, Aurora HDR 2019 which is a pre-release version. I mean at the time of making this video I think it is already released now you can already buy that software. Also they have got the Luminar 2018 and when they approached me I thought uh, for a while and said yes. Now I said yes because I was really excited because there is some competition over here. See whenever you have some competition the market tends to do more work for the consumers. So that's why how we consumers get benefited when there is something competition. Now that's the reason I agreed and I really wanted to see uh, what alternative uh, solution is there for Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop. Now as you guys know Adobe Photoshop or be it the Adobe Lightroom that we have been using for more than 15 to 20 years now that software has been evolved all through the years. So that means they have got a lot of time to develop and listen to the users and consumers who use the software and basically improve it upon every year. So that's how uh, these softwares evolve and almost we can say now Adobe Lightroom is perfect. Now they have got the catalog management which is data asset management tool, the DAM module is what we call. So all sorts of that. Now when there is a competition to this gen, which is the Aurora HDR or Luminar 2018 from Skylum. Now I was really excited and I agreed. So I have been using that software for a week now. And uh, to be honest, I'll be really honest with you guys because I have already uh, given you full disclosure that they approached me but I have not been paid. They just asked me to share my experience uh, with the Aurora HDR 2019 as well as Luminar software. So with that in mind, I just worked uh, just like I would normally on Adobe Lightroom and uh, Adobe Photoshop. Now Aurora HDR 2019 as the name suggests, it's related to HDR. I mean it's related to creating awesome HDR images from your single image or be it multiple exposure images. Now in that aspect, I think it's a real killer software for the Adobe Lightroom. Real killer in the sense when I mean that it's really really easy to create an HDR image which looks stunning and awesome from whatever image you have got in your catalog. So that's the important thing that's the first thing I really loved about using this Aurora HDR. The second thing is the workflow is really easy so they have given you very powerful tools to work with the HDR. At first what it does is it just recognizes the image and it does everything for you uh, given their quantum HDR engine that's what they call uh, it creates easy HDRs so if you just drag and drop the image boom there you go you have the HDR ready now you can you have the full control over that HDR image however you want you can tweak and at the end of the your work you can save it and export the image so in this video I'm going to share you my workflow with the Aurora HDR 2099 and basically give you a demonstration of how it works, how easily you can create an HDR from a single image or even from multiple exposure images. Alright then without wasting any more time let's look at the Aurora HDR 2019. But before we begin this tutorial if you are new to my channel hit that subscribe button it helps me make these contents and if you like this video it will be really helpful as well. Alright then let's look at the Aurora HDR 2019. So guys this is the image that I'm going to edit right now in the Aurora HDR 2019. Now remember there is Lumina 2018 wherein you can work with the, these kind of images especially made for single kind of images. Now HDR image just as I say HDR it comes to our mind that there will be at least 3 to 5 multiple exposure images and that's how you start editing. You basically stack those images and let it do everything. So Aurora HDR makes it really easy. If you have got three images, it will show you three images with different exposure value. I'll be making separate tutorial on how to use that. But in this uh, video, I would like to show you with single image how you can actually create HDR images. Now as you can see, this is just a single image with exposure value 0.0. .0 and here you can see this settings bar if you want to remove chromatic aberration right here itself you can tick these marks so that it will reduce color noise as well as chromatic aberration now that's inbuilt here and if i just tap on or rather click on create hdr so excuse the background noise if you are hearing some odd noises because there is a lot going on outside this office here so as you can see it's preparing, it's detecting scene so it will recognize what kind of scene I have added and based on that it will try to bring the HDR into it. So that's how it does. 
detecting scene type and then it detects the object type so if there are any trees if there is uh, clouds in the scene and how it has to enhance so it takes couple of seconds or rather to say up to 10 to 20 seconds based on your uh, computer speed as you can see improving colors so it tries to create an HDR for you without even you have to edit so that's the nice of having this Aurora HDR as you can see final touches to make it awesome that's cool boom there you go with a single click as you can see I have still not started editing this image at all and as you can see if even if there is a person over here it has rather detected it as a person and it hasn't changed much to that so as you can see this is the quick preview button over here if you just click on this this was the before image and with the after image it has brought back the details from the clouds over here from the sky as well as the greens have become more green because remember this is a HDR image now it has uh, uh, resolved so much details with just one click I have actually not started editing at all as you can see below here there are plenty of presets and collections to uh, basically make it really appealing if that's uh, what you're looking for as you can see if I just click on this collections you can uh, download the presets you can download really awesome looking collections from the Aurora website itself and there are plenty of uh, already available presets here for example this is the landscape if I click on the landscape you have got the landscape filters here if I click on this one if you are into architecture photography you can use these collections and here's the dramatic if you want to make the scene more dramatic so here they are and just like that there are a lot of collections over here this is the basic essential detail bright sun glowing deep so depending on how you like you can actually edit now as you can see on the right hand side you have got very very powerful tools I call it because there is literally everything that you can actually customize to make your images look awesome. Now, as you can see HDR clarity has not even boosted yet and already the image is looking really awesome. Now if I just try to boost the HDR clarity it processes the image and as you can see there is plenty of detail in the picture over here. Now say that I just want to increase the detail from the clouds and the sky here. What I would rather do is you can click on this brush, add a gradient mask or what you can do is add a layer over this image. That's really awesome as well as you can see you can add a new adjustment layer or even if you have got separate clouds image that you want to overlap with this image you can add new image layer as well that's really cool. So we will add a new adjustment layer so that the original remains the same and here as you can see there is a brush. I chose the gradient mask just like how you would do on Lightroom just bring the gradient mask here now what's really cool about this gradient mask is if I just browse here as you can see there will be a top and down change for the gradient mask that's really awesome guys just a moment as you can see adjustable gradient here it is so top and bottom that means what happens is Typically in Lightroom as you can see if I just bring this gradient mask whatever I change here it rather applies to these areas right but here adjustable gradient top that means above this whatever I make changes here it just affects above this and the bottom remains same so that way you are preserving more detail and uh, making it not look odd so that's really awesome now let's I'll just show you I'll bring the vibrance as you can see only top is affected if I click on the bottom and if I just bring the vibrance as you can see only bottom of the frame image is changing so that's really awesome as well so that's how you work with the adjustable gradient on top and bottom now let's say if I just drag this see as you can see it just doesn't change it too much so that it looks odd so as you can see it's uh, really perfect it knows what we are trying to do and that way the quantum HDR engine there works really nice and basically makes your image look stunning and more so this is really easy to work with that's the real nice thing about this software as you can see how easy to work with this I just applied a gradient mask and just did some tweakings over here and already the image is looking perfect so if this has to go for stock photography it's already more than perfect now these are the kind of things that I look when I edit the image and that's how you can make this awesome there is a compare slider here 
So this is the before and this is the after image that you can see with a couple of clicks we have arrived at this stage. How cool is that? So if you want to buy this software, it's a one-time buy. There's not like you have monthly or yearly plans to pay. Uh, not at all. Just one-time buy and uh, this software is on your PC or Mac. So it's very easy. And if you want to buy, I'll leave a link in the description section. Also apply my code so that you will get 10% off on your purchase of this Aurora HDR or even the Luminar 2018. So all right guys then, I hope this tutorial was helpful, hit that like button, see you all in another one, till then take care, bye bye.